Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Reem. Have you ever wondered when you're going to the dentist if dental x-rays are safe for you and your child? You're not alone. I get that question all the time from my patients. And today I'm hoping to give you some clarity on that topic. So in this video, I'll be reviewing why we take x-rays and why they're important, the Alara principle and some safety measures, and radiation that you're exposed to every day compared to dental x-rays. So why are x-rays important? Dental x-rays are important because you can see beyond what the naked eye sees. So when you go to the dentist, they'll do a clinical exam and physically see all your teeth. But in order to take an actual look at the different dental structures and your tooth structures, we take x-rays. So an x-ray allows us to look at the enamel, the outside layer of the tooth. We can look at the dentin, which is the middle layer of the tooth, and then the pulp, which is the live portion, the inner layer of the tooth. Also, what do we get to see? We get to see the surrounding teeth structures. And it's important to realize that not only does an x-ray allow us to look between the teeth, but it allows us to look under fillings, we can see cysts, we can see any trauma to the teeth, we can see infections and abscesses. So it's really important to understand all of this before we actually do any dental work on the patient. Well, now you know why we take them. Let's talk about how safe they are. So generally speaking, all dentists nowadays use digital x-rays. We use them because one, they're a lot more safe because they have a lot less radiation and they're a lot clearer to see. So we can actually detect cavities and other things a lot better because we can see better. Um, in my practice, we use the Nomad Pro. This one, it kind of looks like a space gun, I would say but we love it because it's great to use with kids because it's very flexible so you can use it around. And what I love about it is that you can actually um, choose the different exposure times. So for teeth, for example, for baby teeth or for younger children, you can definitely use less um, exposure time since their teeth are smaller and you know their overall structure is smaller. So exposure parameters are really set as low as possible. Really the only time we will take an x-ray is if it, we know that it will change treatment parameters. So if I know that if I take this x-ray, I might do the treatment a little bit differently, then I will take an x-ray. And to decrease radiation, we always have a bib or an apron, a lead apron that goes over the thyroid and the abdomen to protect you from the radiation. Also, it's important to realize that we use the ALARA principle, which stands for as low as reasonably achievable. Did you know that you're exposed to radiation almost every day, actually every day, without you being aware of it? You know, we get radiation from sleeping next to someone, from the sun, from your cell phone, um, really from even food sources. Actually, um, bananas are actually radioactive because they have potassium and potassium decays. Um, there are so many ways we get radiation and I'm not saying that we should be okay with dental x-rays just because we get radiation all the time, but we have to put things into perspective. So think about how much radiation you get from eating a banana and you can look at the numbers on the screen and see when you get a, fl a flight, when you're on a flight from New York to LA or when you're actually just an average year, how much radiation does an average person get for the whole year? And what's really mind boggling to me is for a person that smokes 1.5 packs a day for a whole year, gets more radiation than 12 times more radiation than the average person. Can you believe that? You will save a lot of unnecessary treatment down the road when you focus on preventative care. And when I say preventative care, I mean like make sure that you're here, you know, you do your six month checkup all the time, that you do your x-rays when you need to do your x-rays. Because really the dentist, when we see those x-rays, we're able to see what's going on. So let's say you had the start of a cavity. Not necessarily we will drill and, you know, do a filling on that tooth, but we know where the problem is. So we can tell you where to emphasize and address it. Meaning you could brush a little bit better in that area or floss a little bit better or different techniques to address that area. So overall, to summarize, dental radiation is minimal and the benefits are huge. And 
just to throw it out there as a pediatric dentist a lot of times you might go with your child and we won't take any x-rays and that's because there are children have more space between their teeth especially four and under their contacts their teeth have are not touching yet so because we can see between the teeth we do not need x-rays sometimes but that is a different case based on what the dentist sees and carries risk and i'll talk about that in another video later thanks for watching i'll see you next time